gentlemen, this is the opening contest on Kitty Impact. It is scheduled for one fall, introducing first from the deepest, darkest corner of his mind, the Queen. We open the premiere of the two hour impact with the entrance of Black Rain, the alter ego, the split personality of Dustin Rose. Black Rain described as a sick, demented freak, obviously by someone who knows him very well. We know that Black Rain carries that red misty in the cage. Whoa. But what's the story on this? Black I don't know, box? but whatever it is, I don't trust it. He's sticking it right here on the announce table. And I was going to mention, Mike, I hope it doesn't pop open, but it's not unlike James Mitchell. I mean, think about it. He's the perfect person to use that demented alter ego to make Black Rain his new soldier. And his opponent from Detroit, Michigan, the War Machine, Wood The nickname says it all, War Machine. It's his mindset. It's his in-ring style. Check out the charge to the ring. You know, not the normal reaction that we've seen from opponents of Black Rain. Mike, we've never seen a debut as vicious and as brutal as we have from Judas Messiah. Think about the carnage. Think about the disruption that he brought to TNA. But then last week on Impact, there was one man who wasn't intimidated, and that was the War Machine Rhino as he backed him down. The former World Heavyweight Champion Rhino. And you know what, Don? There's no reverse gear when it comes to Rhino's transmission. Absolutely full speed ahead. Well, it's 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 been unbelievable to watch that aggression. Like you said, he's full steam ahead, and something about Macias brought it out, and he's taking it out right now on Black Rain. Quick pin on Black Rain. Attempt gets just a two count. This is what we talked about. No reverse, full speed ahead, and look at Rhino unleash those right hands in the corner. One shot after another as Rhino just fires himself up. Mike, I gotta tell you, I am creeped out by this black box that Black Rain has left right here on the table. It's about three feet from me here, and I mean, it is creeping me out as you see Rhino smash the head of Black Rain in the ring apron. Then sends him into the steel guardrail. Don, you touched on this earlier. James Mitchell recruiting a group to get his revenge on the monster abyss. It all starts with the leader, his quote-unquote son, Judas Macias. He's obviously added Black Rain to the group. Mitchell working 24 hours a day to get inside people's minds, and especially someone like the monster abyss. Check out Rhino drop the leg. Well, one way, here we go, three count. Didn't quite get it, but I'll tell you something. One thing about James Mitchell, we know how he likes to exploit the mind, and if he feels it's a weak mind, he'll go right for it. You know he wouldn't go after Dustin Rhodes, but when he is this alter ego, when he is Black Rain, it's right down James Mitchell's alley, and that's why I think it's such a match made in heaven, so to speak. What a strange situation this is with this split personality of Dustin Rhodes is Black Rain. Of course, every time you see the War Machine Rhino, you've got to be prepared for one thing. Oh, that's the gore. Here he goes. But he just doesn't get there in time. As Black Rain saw it out of the back of his eye, get out of the way. He hit the steel ring post, and now Black Rain with the right one after another. And oh, no, he's got the neck oh. exposed on the ropes. The perfect defensive move to sidestep that gore. Then you're right, connects Don with that leg drop outside, immediately follows up in the ring with a series of right hands. Well, Black Rain has got full momentum now, and, you know, with someone like that, you you know, the War Machine knew he had to be aggressive early. He had to take the fight to him because, it, you know, Black Rain just, his brain doesn't work like anybody else's, so you have no idea what's going to set him off. And now Black Rain in total control. Look at this. Right in the middle of the ring. Oh, man, drops right that chin right on his shoulder. Going to go for the cover. Black Rain gets two, but only two before Rhino gets that shoulder up. Got him by the hair right now, Black Rain. Using him, sitting the body, and man, look how hard he threw him in the turnbuckle. And you can see Rhino just is another pin and tip. Oh, that was close this time. So close. Rhino just in time, but Rhino hit that turnbuckle hard, Mike, and fell hard. Tail of two matches to this point. Rhino in control in the early going, but now it's what all Black Rain. Is that Raven? That's Raven. What's the story on Raven? Where is he at here in the impact zone? Commercial breakup coming. When we return to impact, more of Black Rain and Rhino. It's TNA Wrestling's premier pay-per-view event of the year, Bound for Glory. And it's going down live from Atlanta. For the first time ever, a TNA knockout champion will be crowned in a 10-woman gauntlet match. 
Unbelievable. TNA Bound for Glory, brought to you by Midway Games, live Sunday, October 14th. Tickets are on sale now, starting at just $15 at all Ticketmaster locations and the arena at Gwinnett Center Box Office. And welcome back, everyone, to the premiere of the two-hour impact here on Spike TV. Opening matchup continues. Oh, man. Nice suplex that time by the War Machine, momentarily stopping this offensive onslaught of Black Rain. TNA back on pay-per-view, and this is the big one. Yes. This is our Super Bowl World Series Final Four all rolled into one. We're headed to Atlanta, Georgia, bound for glory. We're live in Atlanta. Sunday, October the 14th. It's going to be huge. Fan interaction on Saturday. All the details. Join us in Atlanta, Georgia. Get those details at our website, TNAWrestling.com. No weekend, Mike, like Bound for Glory. The greatest weekend for TNA Wrestling of the Year is Rhino. The War Machine fires himself up. Look at him come off the ropes and hit him with the left arm. Then charges at him again. Drops him in mid-ring. Going to shoot him off into the corner. Back first into the turnbuckles. And then the shoulder block right into the midsection. Takes the air right out. Well, Raven's move backfired. He was trying to pull Black Rain out of the way, but Rhino able to counter it, and then he saw Black Rain out of the corner of his eye, able to get the quick roll up for the pin, but now it's the numbers game, as Raven and Black Rain are double-teaming Rhino the War Machine, and they're just kicking him to death right now. Oh, check out this two-on-one beatdown. As Black Rain, Dustin Rhodes, and Raven put the boots to the War Machine, and now Black Rain is headed to the top. Wait a minute! so hard to prepare for. He's just such a monster as he just flings Black Rain oh. off the ropes and sends him flying. And now the war machine up and he's got Raven and he goes in and just hits him with a shoulder block right in the gut. Oh, and there goes Raven out to the floor, courtesy of that big boot from Rhino. Could this be the choke slam? Oh, he's got a hold of him here and the crowd loves it. Oh. As you see Rhino sending Raven into the crowd. Oh, he choke slammed him hard. James Abyss 
Wallace is back, and Wallace and this crowd go crazy. Hey, Sting. Hey, Sting. Oh, what's Hello. up? Hello. Right here. Are you ready for some football? Because if you are, I'll be right back after a word from our sponsor. I'll see you on the other side of the break. Hey, Spike's got to make its money, too. What is that? This is Kurt Angle, Olympic gold medalist and current TNA World Heavyweight Champion, reporting live on a beautiful California smoggy autumn day. A great day for football. Now, I'm sorry I couldn't be at the impact zone tonight, Sting, but I had some business to take care of. Some family business. More specifically, your family business. Doesn't this feel look familiar, Sting? Isn't this where your son Garrett plays all his home football games? Man, I'm sorry you went all the way to Florida, to the impact zone, just to beat me up tonight. You see, the difference between you and me, Sting, is if I had a son, I would never miss any of his football games. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to sit in those sands, and I'm going to cheer your son Garrett on. And you know what? When he grows up, I'm going to wonder, is he going to slap other people's wives like you do? Maybe I'll ask him that after the game. Kurt, you lay a hand on him and I swear I'm gonna kill you. What, I'm kill me? Kill you, that's what I'm do. All I'm doing is watch him play football. And he's very, very good. Hey, Sting, I'll see you in the huddle. Come on, Gary, let's go. Wow, what an uneasy feeling that has to be for Sting. Knowing that Angle is stalking his son in California, Sting 3,000 miles away in Florida. To the back, and Jeremy Borash. JB, Jeremy Borash here backstage, and ladies and gentlemen, we have exclusive Bound for Glory news that you will hear nowhere else. All you need to do is sign up for TNA Mobile, text TNA to 76000, and after tonight's broadcast, we will text that information to your mobile phones. TNA text mobile. TNA to 76000. Yeah. Black yeah, Machismo, so Jay Lethal, the Guru Sanjay Dutt. Jay Lethal, it's you versus the Fallen Angel, Christopher yeah. Daniels at Bound for Glory. Got Christopher Daniels number, yeah, because at Bound for Glory, grandmother of them all, I take him out, yeah. And then uh, my buddy Liberace is coming, yeah. I mean, uh, Boogie Woogie on the PL, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, Liberace's dead, actually. Yeah, like uh, Christopher Daniels' career will be, I mean, uh, Fallen Angel, Fallen and can't get up, you hear that? Hold on. Give me a hug, dude. <laughs> Why always talk about death? It should be about love. Like me, and what I have in my heart. Not the hate that you're talking about, Jay. Get that hate out of your blood. That's why I started a foundation for all my brothers and sisters suffering from the Ebola virus epidemic. It's called Enough Ebola Already. Enough what? Ebola! Right, all right. I mean, now what's the... Hey, Jay, it's about sharing. As I'm sharing my good fortune and my love, and everything that I bring to the table, you need to share. share. Just sure. like this. My glasses? Now look at that! Oh. oh, did you see that? Man, a lot kid 3D just out of nowhere. Knocked all three of them out like bowling pins. I mean, look at this. I guess we shouldn't be surprised. Brother Ray, Brother Devon, they've been absolutely relentless, Don, for the past several months. Think of what they've done to the Steiners. Think of what they've done to Shark Boy, to the Motor City Guns. I mean, this is just unbelievable. It hasn't mattered. I mean, they have decided they're going to wreak havoc on every single person here at TNA till they get what they want. Oh, and he just slams the Guru and then slams Jay Lee through the wall. And it's pretty obvious what they want. We know that Team 3D wants one thing, and they want one thing only. A shot at the, yes, TNA World Tag Team titles. No question about that. What a brawl in the back. Oh, it just is just like Team 3D. Now, wait a minute. Here they are coming up the ramp, and they still have a hold of Jay Lethal. They still have a hold of Sonny. Wow. They send the Black Machismo sliding down the ramp. Oh, man, they're just, they're just merciless right now. Team 3D on the camera. They care about one thing, and that's destroying anybody here by their pants right now. And they're going to do that until they convince TNA management's Jim Cornette to give them a shot at the Tag Team Championship belts. What a beatdown in the back of the action. 
Sanjay Dutton. Wait a minute. Here comes Shark Boy and Nubby with the, with the neck brace and all under what brother they did to him. Oh, you got to give this kick credit. He's got a heart coming out here to defend. But yeah, but how smart can no, it be? No, not After very. After went down, when they used no. that steel chair right against the throat of Shark Boy, injuring him. And obviously, you see, sporting the neck brace. And from behind, brother Devon just took him down with these. You're right, he's got heart, but what are you doing out here, Shark Boy? No, he, I mean, there was no way you were going to help them out. He tried, but now he's just set himself up for the slaughter as the double team. And here it goes, 3D right on top of Shark Boy. Oh, man. You're right, almost like he was a momentary distraction to stop from the beatdown on the Guru. The beatdown on Black Machismo G. Satellite feed I, I in California. Do. I didn't know what he was going to do. Yeah. He's for a feed. It was for it's the my child. family. It's my son, Keith. You know I'd do nothing to hurt your family. Yeah, it's just about the ratings, isn't it? Just no, about it the ratings. It has nothing to do with the ratings. Keith, get me a set of headphones. I want to talk to him quick. It's going to take a few minutes. Make it happen now, Keith! Get a headset up front for Sting right now. Move it. Three. It's TNA Wrestling's premier pay-per-view event of the year, Bound for Glory. And it's going down live from Atlanta. Samoa Joe, Christian Cage, there must be a winner. Matt Morgan is the special enforcer. Oh, no way! TNA Bound for Glory, brought to you by Midway Games, live Sunday, October 14th. Tickets are on sale now, starting at just $15 at all Ticketmaster locations and the arena at Gwinnett Center Box Office. Hurry up, hurry up. Check, check. Okay, it's working. He's there, he's there. Kurt, Kurt, can you hear me? Kurt, you know you stepped over the line. You've got your own kids, Kurt. I swear if one hair is misplaced on his head, I'm gonna do something you're gonna regret, Kurt! Now that's the old stinger I wanna get back. The one with the fire, the passion, the emotion. I mean, I had to come all the way to California just to get that old stinger back, to come watch Garrett play football. And who said anything about touching anybody? I mean, you're the one that likes to slap other people's family members. You call the police to have me arrested? Oh, Sting. You're being naughty, and I don't like it. You better watch yourself. All I had to do is tell him I was watching the football game. I gave him an autograph and sent him on their way. Now, if you don't mind, I'm getting back to the football game. Let's go, Garrett! Kurt Angle, he's looking for emotion and fire and sting, and I think he found it. Well, Mike, when you involve a man's family, you better be prepared for how he's going to react. Later on tonight, Mike, in the first two-hour broadcast, it's going to be the World Tag Team Champions in action. Adam Pac-Man Jones run the two killings against Team 3D. Also still to come tonight, eight-man tag team match. It's Triple X. It's AJ Styles and Christian Cage against LAX, Junior Fatu, and Samoa Joe. October the 14th, Bound for Glory. 
we will crown the first ever TNA Knockout Champion in a gauntlet match. Speaking of TNA Knockouts, you need to check out your newsstands for the special edition, Playboy edition, of the Sexy Girls Next Door with our very own Letitia Klein on the cover. Earlier today, Robert Roode had an interview with Crystal and it got real tense. But speaking of tense, watch how it got between Crystal and Letitia after the interview. Robert, it's my understanding that you actually called this interview to get a few things straightened out with TNA. And actually, I have some questions for you as well. First of all... First of all, you're going to shut up. Okay? Do you know how long it's taken me to get this interview time? Sit there and shut up. Okay. Okay? Robert Rude is a brand. Robert Rude Incorporated is a multi-million dollar business. So that's why I've went out and I've hired a marketing firm. That's why I've went out and hired a PR firm. Everybody wants to know where Robert Rude got his money from. Well, I'm going to tell you, okay? One time and one time only for the world, okay? Okay. My grandfather, God rest his soul, left me a lot of money. How much money? <laughs> More than you'll ever see, okay? You, things are gonna change at TNA. I'm sick of the same old people, guys like Sting, guys like Kurt Angle, Samoa Joe, and, and guys that don't even belong in the same ring as Robert Roode, guys like Kaz. So you know what, it's time for a change around here, and Robert, what are you looking at? What? What's your problem? What's my problem? What's your problem? Bobby, you know what my whoa, problem whoa, whoa, whoa. is. What's my name? Robert. Yes. What is your problem? Robert, you and I, where are we? <laughs> where are we? Well, what do you mean, where are we? We're, we're the same spot we were a year ago when I hired you. I'm here, you're here. I'm the boss, you're the employee. That's not how this started. Oh, that's know. not how it started. Okay. I, I know how you're being with Kaz. You think I'm stupid? You work for me and you do what you're told, you understand? You want to leave, quit. Quit the job. I don't need you. I don't want to, you know I can't quit. You know I need this job. You know my mother's really sick, Oh, Robert. your mother. Right, yeah, your mother. So you don't want to quit? You want the job? Yes. You want the job? Yes. Well then, act accordingly. Do your job. You haven't done a damn thing for me in the last 12 months. And you know what? This women's gauntlet of Bound for Glory, you're in it. You're one of the 10 women. This knockout Bound for Glory. You know what? You better win, because losers are not accepted in Robert Root Incorporated. Do you understand? You better win. You better do something right for once in your life. You know what? <laughs> this interview's over. It's All done. Right, Robert, it's done. Robert, let's not leave the interview like it's this. Done. Come it's on. Over. It's done. Uh, what are you so doing here? Excuse Robert, me. Who are you? I? Me? I'm yeah. Letitia Klein. I'm the backstage interviewer security. for Security. Security. I just went off to go pose for Playboy, and I come this. back and you're sitting in my chair? You need so to get up. So, you snooze, you lose. This is you? Yeah, this that's you? me. Oh, well, it's too bad they couldn't use a better picture. <laughs> you think that's funny? Security! You need to get out of my chair. You're oh, about to find out right no. now who I am. Security, you yeah. need this girl to get out of here right now. I don't know who she is. Ladies and gentlemen, the following special contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, accompanied by Cowboy Team Storm, the pride of Tennessee, Miss Chucky Hall. Right when I think of the gauntlet and battle for glory, I look at the pride of Tennessee Jackie Moore and I think, what an advantage she really has going into that. You think about her experience. You think about her toughness. I mean, you think about somebody that is not intimidated by anything or anyone. I think you have to look at Jackie Moore as one of the favorites. And her opponent from Tampa, Florida, Kim! Tennessee has because of her experience what a huge advantage that 10th spot is in the match where we will crown the first ever TNA knockout champion. Just another great reason to be in Atlanta, be to be there for Balfour Glory, to be part of the whole festivity. It really is the greatest weekend in TNA for all of us and, and, and all of the talent, but because it's going to be so, so momentous this time, there will be a first time ever TNA knockout women's champion, and you mentioned it. Rocky Laval having that 10th spot, knowing that everybody else will have already been out there tiring out. She 
has a great advantage to become the first champ. No question. Bound for glory wow. is going to be off the charts. Great arm drag, follow drop kick by Gail Kim. Fan interaction, your chance to go up close and personal with all the stars of TNA, including the TNA knockouts. That's on Saturday, October 13. Of course, Bound for Glory, our biggest event of the year. On the 14th from outside, Tennessee Cowboy James Storm. The beer drinking cowboy gets involved, and that distraction enables Jackie Moore to take down Gail Kim. Well, it was just enough of a distraction for, for Jackie Moore to come in there and take advantage. Gail Kim started out hot. She started out in control, but James Storm knew when and timed it perfectly, and now. Miss Jackie Moore, of course, has the advantage, and that's what she is. She's just a fighter. I mean, let's face it, she's a brawl. And she, the glory is well, going to be huge, and here comes the Voodoo Queen, Roxy Laveau, along with BG and Kip James, the BKM, the Voodoo King Mafia. Roxy, the owner of that number 10 spot, also has to be considered on one of the favorites when we crown a TNA knockout champion. Now, that battle for glory is going to be great, but let's also remind everybody about our huge main event tonight. That's right. Can you imagine this? Christian Cage, AJ Styles, and Triple X versus Samoa Joe, Junior Fatu, and LAX, the Latin American Exchange. Wow. I mean, you talk about the best of TNA all coming in as you see Gail Kim coming back strong, but oh, look at the backbreaker by Jackie Moore. She just caught the momentum of Gail, turned her upside down, and just put her right on that knee and broke the back as you see Roxy Laveau looking on it. We talk about an unknown in Roxy Laveau and, and what an advantage she has and just how, how different she is. But think about all the new competitors that we mentioned earlier that we don't know the things that we haven't seen. The amazing Kong as we see Christy Emmy coming up. Talia Madison, ODB, Angel Williams, and Shelly Martinez. You know, there's 10 women involved, 10 knockouts, five that you're very familiar with, and five that will debut, no question. Yes, yet to come tonight here on this premiere, two-hour impact, Team Pac-Man, Team 3D. It's coming up next, by the way, and I have to question it. Will it be for the TNA World Tag Team titles? Has that intimidation from Team 3D, Brother Ray and Brother Devon, will it work to convince Jim Cornette to make it a title match? This has got to be such a distraction right now, especially for Gail Cam, as she realizes that Roxy Roxy the and VKM are ringside, James Storm. But you know what? She concentrates on the action in the ring. Nice clothesline after she got the boot up. And another clothesline. And Gail Cam now taking control and just slams the head on the back of the mat. Gail Cam absolutely on fire. Coming off the ropes, drops the knee right to the head of the pride of Tennessee. Coming right back, he moves two. Jackie Moore came out of that, I mean, with a 40. Get used to impact this two-hour premiere tonight, but looking forward each and every week, a two-hour impact broadcast next week on impact. All the participants from that TNA knockout gauntlet of Out for Glory will be here in attendance at the impact zone. Here goes the cover. One, two, three, got it. Here's your winner, Kim. What an incredible finish right there. She hits my the happy ending. Oh, look out from behind. Voodoo Queen Roxy Laveau caught Gail Kim unaware as she was celebrating the victory. And you can see Roxy Laveau goes right after but Gail Kim thinking about Bound for Glory comes right after her and nails her with a couple elbows. Hits a close line. Ducks one from Christy Hemme and has got something for her. Just a little taste, just a little preview of the action we can expect at Bound for Glory when we crown. One step ahead of those three. Gail Kim avoids the contact. Heads up the ramp. Yes, she's on her way to Bound for Glory. And that TNA knockout's gone. No question about that. You see Gail Kim showing the motion that she's going to become the first ever Bound for Glory champion. Oh, look at this on. friction. Friction between the other three in the ring. To the back of JB. Cornette earlier in the night, Team 3D requested that you make their match tonight against Team Pac-Man for the World Tag Team titles. Your thoughts? My thoughts are that I'm sick and tired of hearing Team 3D whining and crying. I'm sick and fed up with it. So if they want a TNA World Tag Team title match tonight, they've got it against Team Pac-Man. But they better realize what goes around comes around. What do you mean by that?
Stick around about ten minutes, you're gonna find out. Yeah, I'm... Hey, what? Hey, what? Hey, what? Hey, what? Hey, You gotta start talking look, to me! Look, you gotta this. tell me something! Look, I'm just finding out about this, too! I don't know anything I more than you! I need answers, Jimmy! I don't know anything more than you do! I'm looking at the monitor! And as a matter of fact, he's back! He's back. The hell? Hey, welcome back to Impact, as we rejoin the satellite feed hey, with Kurt Angle. This is Howard Cosell reporting to you live from the frozen tundra of California. A very exciting game. Everybody going nuts. A defensive struggle. Garrett Borden having a hell of a game. This is where men are made. <laughs> I'm just messing with this thing. Just giving you an update on the game. And by the way, your friend Larry, you know, the guy that you sent here to take care of your problem, me. Let's just say that he'll be walking with a slight limp the rest of his life. Now it's the third quarter. I gotta get back to the game. Da -na -na. Da -na -na. Steve, come on, calm down. You gotta realize it's all mind games with him. He's trying to get in there. If you let him, he wins and you lose. You gotta realize that. Die! I'm gonna kill him! Jim Cornette, sick and tired of Brother Ray and Brother Devon whining and crying. So the TNA management representative has relented and he has made this a TNA World Tag gentlemen, the following contest is for the TNA World Tag Team Championship, scheduled for one fall. Introducing team number one, the challengers from New York City, Brother Ray, Brother Devon, they are Team Green Team! Yes, the tag team that claims to be the most decorated in wrestling history looks to add another reign as TNA World Tag Champs to their resume. Check out the carnage in recent weeks. They put the dog face From Charlotte, North Carolina, from the two killings from Atlanta, Georgia, and on Pac Man Jones, they are the TNA World Tag Team Champions, Team Pac Man! Well, this is it. Mr. Controversy himself, Adam Pac Man Jones, set to make his impact in ring debut. Take you back to last month at No Surrender. Team Pac Man. The TNA Gold, the World Tag Team Championship belts on the line in Pac-Man Jones' hometown of Atlanta, Georgia. Well, you can see the champ standing tall in the ring, but you've got to admit, Pac-Man Jones, not only is he controversial in his life and has been, and the most talked about is one of the, the controversial things he's done. Think about how he's been in the ring. I think about, I think about on impact when you saw AJ Styles in the ring against Ron the Truth Killing. It was Pac-Man Jones that was able to be there at the right time, spray the paint paint, the spray paint in the eyes of Pac-Man, I mean, the eyes of AJ Styles, which ended up causing Ron the Truth Killing to get the pin, and that's exactly the kind of partner he's been. He knows his limitations. He lets Ron the Truth Killings do a lot of the action in the ring, but when Pac-Man gets his opportunities, he uses his speed to entice the other man into something and Ron the Truth Killings is always there waiting. I think that Jim Cornette from TNA Management realizes just how big this Impact broadcast is. Thursday Night Impact, the premiere, yes, two-hour version and going forward each and every week, 9 p.m. right here on Spike TV, a great two-hour edition of Impact, and I think Cornette realized because of the importance of this show tonight, let's
Let's give the people a little something extra, and that's why the gold is at stake. Well, this is what's so neat, Mike. It's like you mentioned. This isn't a special show. This is the first of every Thursday night in fact being two hours. As you see, Brother Devon grabbing around the two killings right now and taking advantage. And man, you gotta admit, Team 3D asked for this. They've got to be psyched up for it. And you gotta figure Team Batman did not come in here not expecting to have the title on the line. You're right, no question about that. The mindset of the team, the TNA World Tag Team Champions, Ron the Truth Killers, Adam Pac-Man Jones, but then realizing that just minutes ago, this match changed to a tag title bout. The Truth unleashes the offense on Brother Devon. Well, he's gonna have to use his speed, his quickness to keep Team 3D off balance. They're gonna, oh, what a beautiful move by the Truth as he comes right off the top there. Face first and nails it right where it hurts the most. And Brother Devon flops around like a fish right now in the man. Crowd here at the impact zone reacting positively to Ron the Truth Killings. Nice move that time. So explosive with impact. And look at him nip up. Look at him kip up to his feet and then do the splits. I mean, this guy has it all. Look at this as he goes for a quick pin. Brother Devon gets a short of a time, but he does, Mike. He has the agility, the athletic ability, the speed, the strength. He's a former world champion. I mean, he's been there. He's been a multi-tag champion. And now we see for the first time Adam Pac-Man Jones in the ring, in action, and everybody's anticipating what he's going to do. And now look at this. You see Brother, Brother Ray with the football, and he's wanting to come in right now. You're right. This is it. This is the Spike TV. This is the impact debut of the controversial Adam Pac-Man Jones. We saw Brother Ray bring the football down to the ring. Trying to goad him with it. Trying to intimidate him. This is the night. We got to play football. Do you remember how to play football? Oh, asking him if he remembers how to play, and he slams the football into the gut of Pac-Man Jones. And Pac-Man looking around. Oh, look at this. Brother Ray goes down into, I guess what you would call, the three-point stance. Pac-Man floats over with ease. I'll tell you what, we talk about athletic ability. And Speed. Killing. Look at Pac-Man Jones. This guy, the fastest, the fastest guy in the NFL. Almost like this is a cat and mouse game here with Brother Ray. What did he say? You cheated? No, he wants to do it again. Now it's just, it's just Brother Ray. Trying to get into the mind, trying to psych him out, and I'll tell you what, I think he's using the wrong. Oh, now he just threw the football right into the chest of Batman Jones, and he's. Yeah. You hear what he said? You can't even catch the football. Again, right in the face of Batman Jones, his team 3D's brother Ray. He's screaming, he got oh, no hands. Oh, did right. you see that? Oh, he threw it right to the back of the neck. Yeah, oh, he, just, <laughs> he just nailed him right in the back of the head with that football. He got, got Roger Goodell's autograph now. Because the truth, able to do it in another tag in Adam Pac-Man Jones, and now he's got the 
chair. Oh, now look at Brother Ray begging for mercy. Pac-Man Jones, the controversial Adam Pac-Man Jones. We've got that steel chair in his hand. Brother Ray begging off. Get him, Pac-Man. Let's VKM go out here. Oh, man, look at this. VKM just coming in. They grab Ron the True Killings, and they pull him out of the ring, and they're beating up on him. And now they're just qualifying him out. Did you see Pac-Man now chasing VKM out? Boy, you're right. Referee had to toss it out. You've got to disqualify him after that outside interference. Voodoo King Mafia, BG, Kip James, come down to the ring. They get involved. Pac-Man chases them out with the chair. And now, Team 3D just laid out the truth. Oh, they've got the truth. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? Are you kidding me? I never thought we'd see these guys again. And here comes Rick and Scott. More with Kurt Angle via satellite. Hey, that, that 25, that's my boy out there. Wow. Way to go, son. Woo. It's TNA Wrestling's premier pay-per-view event of the year, Bound for Glory. And it's going down live from Atlanta. AJ Styles and Tom Cole battle Team Pac-Man for the TNA World Tag Titles. You've got to be kidding me! TNA Bound for Glory, brought to you by Midway Games, live Sunday, October 14th. Tickets are on sale now, starting at just $15 at all Ticketmaster locations and the arena at Gwinnett Center Box Office. Raven, it looks as though you've thrown your hat back into the mix here at TNA. They say that Raven's epitaph should read, For all his vaunted genius, he wasn't intelligent enough to not stay past the expiration date. They say that I'm washed up. Well, that's what they said about Funk in 1982 when he retired, and again in 85. And by his fifth or sixth retirement, he came out and challenged and then beat me for the ECW World Heavyweight title, and I learned a valuable lesson. And the lesson is, let the Joes and the Kurtz and the Christians beat each other senseless, and then come in like a vulture and swoop down and pick their carcasses clean. And when I want to get back in shape, there's two people I want to wrestle. One, the War Machine Rhino, because he's crazy enough to gore a shopping cart just to try and kill me. And the other one is Abyss, because Abyss is just barbaric enough to try and pull my eyeball out while I'm trying to dig his out. So I think the three of us should have a nice little match, except it won't be Bound for Glory. It'll be more like bound for gory. Quote the raven, never. Let's make it monsters. And bring black rain with you.
this is going to be where two individuals start. You see Taz and the Tennessee Cowboy James Storm. Every 60 seconds, we will have another competitor enter. It's going to be over the top rope elimination only until we get down to the final two. At that point, those final two wrestlers will compete in a match to be determined by pitfall or submission. And it's an extreme disadvantage to have to start this match out. You've got Kaz and James Storm. Keep in mind, for them to win, they're going to have to go through every single person that comes Whoa. out of here. And it is not an easy feat. It looked like he thought he had James Storm out, but he skinned the cat. But Kaz now finds himself on the Look at that. He goes right over the top. Oh, hey, was that, that beautiful? That was smooth, man. Slingshot into the DDT by Kaz. Countdown clock indicates we've got another competitor headed to the ring. Who is participant? Robert Rude. The man behind Rude Incorporated. Robert Rude heading to the ring. And you know with his arrogance, he feels like the TNA World's Heavyweight Championship match is probably his right. Well, that's what's so important about the fight for the right. You Oh, what a sweep. Just sweeping the leg there by Kaz. Just, I mean, here's somebody right now that's got momentum. Look how high his three boards over there and hits the drop kick. It's Kaz pulling out all the stops, and there's a drop kick into the chest. I mean, one right after another. You gotta, you gotta be impressed so far with Kaz here. Just got a memo handed to me from Jim Cornette. The four women who were involved earlier tonight on Impact, Kale Kim, Christy Henney, Ms. Brooks, Jackie Moore, involved in that in that brawl. Yes, they have been barred from ringside in this matchup. I'm sorry, it's Gail Kim, Ten, Christy Henney, Roxy Lebeau, and Jackie Moore. Well, and they should be barred after what, what they've done. I mean, Gail Kim, that was standing, but you might as well get everybody out in that situation. But those four, they did deserve next. the ride yeah. after the beatdown from Gail Kim. Yeah. 
and all the championships on the line. But not just that, a chance to become title contenders. I mean, it's something for everybody. And you throw that ultimate and everything else that's going to be a bound for glory. What a night it's going to be. One half of the guns, the Motor City Machine Guns. Chris Saban, former X Division champ, multi-time hits the ring. Full Nelson attempt on the slam there by Vivi Ray. Blocked by Chris Saban. And look at Saban oh, here. He's a like, oh, what a DDT that was. He just spun around like a machine gun, kicking everybody out of the way, and then nails him with the DDT. And I'll tell you something, if Alex Shelley gets in there with him and those two can work together, they're going to have a distinct advantage because nobody's as cohesive as those two. Ms. Brooks making her way down the ramp to check out what's going on and you know the situation that we've been watching for the past couple of months involving Robert Roode and Kaz and the friction and oh brother. And keep in mind, Ms. Brooks wasn't eight. involved in that melee earlier, so she's not far from ringside, but here she is on the ramp looking pretty sexy, I might add, is you wonder what's going on. Who looks This is what you just yes. mentioned. Yeah. Shelly, the other half of the Motor City Machine Guns, charging down the ramp, and look at that, spit the water right in the face of Jimmy Ray. You talked about the teamwork. Oh, Here go the guns. Oh, oh, man, talk about a rope burn. Holy cow, they slid him across. And look at that. What combination. The kick, and look at the hesitation drop kick by Saban. That's what I'm talking about. The Motor City Machine Guns, as they show you where they're from there with a the hand. Detroit City. Petey Williams is going to go for the Canadian Destroyer. Instead, the end to Gary Lee with a PD eliminated. being eliminated. Jimmy Rave on the apron. Shelly snaps his neck across the top. And then his Jimmy Rave team partner, eliminated. Steven, connects with a drop kick. And now both Jimmy Ray and PD Williams are out. Well, I told you what it would be like if the Motor City Machine Guns can work together. They have been unbelievable. They're Four, picking the target three, and they're going to right and that target's Robert Rude right now. Right. because of the elimination of his tag team partner, Jimmy Rave, just seconds ago. Well, Lance Hoyt's going to have to use that pure strength right now. Like oh, that. Man. Is that strong enough for I, you? I guess that's kind of what I was talking about. Because you got some tired individuals in the ring, and he's just going to have a nice headlock here by Eric Young. But look at that. He just picks him up and flings him away. It really is that combination that you just talked about. The pure raw power and strength combined with the freshness, the fact that Lance Hoyt has just hit the ring. City machine guns in the process. The final participant, Wolfcat Chris Harris. This is the coveted number 10 spot. The final entrant in the blind draw goes to the Wildcat, Chris Harris. Huge advantage for the Wildcat. Look at him explode off the ropes with the clothesline. Oh, he does. He just comes flying off those ropes and he the smart thing. Oh, man, but Alex Shelley, boy, just put his up to him. What a spine buster as he caught Shelley coming Shelly. off the net. Boy, Lance Hoyt really proving to be a force in this gauntlet. He never saw that high-risk move off the top by Kaz. Think about it. Kaz and James Storm have been somehow survived from the very beginning, but Kaz coming off the top of that drop kick. But, oh, man, wait a minute. Now, he went through the rope. He didn't get over the top. And Robert Root knocked him through, but he is not eliminated. I don't believe Mike. And you see Miss Brooks coming down to ringside to check on the condition of Kaz, and you know that's going to upset Robert Root. Oh, he's screaming at her. What are you doing? He says, what did I tell you? Stay away from me. Did you say you want to kiss him? Oh, he's just a, like a jealous kid. You want to quit? You He is just taking it to Kaz out here, shooting right into those steel steps. Commercial breakup coming. Take machines are rolling. We'll review any eliminations. What we return to impact? Chris 
Chris Harris seemed to have the advantage, but that's one of those things that can happen. As Robin Roode able to turn it around on Wildcat, and now he's eliminated and out of the picture. And big Lance Hoyt now working on Showtime Eric Young. And Cowboy James Storm and Robert Roode and Kaz still in this matchup. I want to remind you still to come tonight here on Impact, that huge main event, Christian Cage, AJ Styles, Triple X in the eight-man tag against Samoa Joe Jr. Batu and LAX, the Latin American Exchange. Shelly outside, going to go up to the top oh, end. No. He got that big move from Lance Hoyt. Shelly has been and eliminated. That's why it's a high-risk yes. move when you go to the top. Zero reward. High-risk means no pay. Of the guns are out. Well, once you commit yourself like that, you better you better be quick. You better have your plan fast. And Lance Hoyt saw it, and he once he had him in no man's land, he made sure that was it. But wow, look at the double team! And Lance there Hoyt is eliminated. Robert Roode working together, the former Canadian teammates, and they eliminate Lance Hoyt. I mean, think of the months and months of heated rivalry between Robert Roode and Eric Young. They worked together for that split second because it was to their advantage. Well, they touched Lance Hoyt out to the floor. They eliminated him, but they immediately start fighting the second they realize that it's every person for himself. I mean, you think about the tars and feathering that went on between these guys and everything else. But you know what? That's the pros they are. You work with someone, if it helps out and all. Do you see that? Slip right out to the floor, kiss her hand. Oh, uh, boy, that just infuriated Robert Roode. And oh, no! Looks like they fall right into the can. Couldn't get bit, get final back two. in in time. Look at the final two. Shane Storm and Eric Young. Now it's Ken Fowler's submission to decide it. And look at Eric Young fired up right now. Just slamming him with rights, nailing with the forearm, and it hits him with the drop kick. Of course, James Storm, one of the first two, the original two in this gauntlet. Let's see if Eric Young can take advantage of that situation where he's just a little bit fresher than the Tennessee Cowboy. Well, he's been in there an awful long time, but, you know, at this point, when you're you're fighting with so many people so many times, they're both wore out. And you can see him grabbing around the neck, trying to take the oxygen away from Eric Young. That's a way to put him back on an equal playing field. And look at Eric Young, just fighting off the road. Wait a minute. Eric Young! 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 Styles. Let's show you what happened because it may change the face of the whole match tonight. Are we going to eat like sushi and stuff over there? Hey, why don't they have so many Korean barbecues over there? Because it's like, hey, what do you got? I've been looking all over you guys. Where, where are you? What the hell are you wearing? Tomco shirt's cool, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Real cool. Why are you wearing it? We're going to Japan. I'm going with him. What? Why are you going to Japan? I don't know if you remember or not, but when you're the champ, you have to defend your belts. I got a championship match in Tokyo. Come on, AJ, let's go. Hey, are we, are we, whoa. Are we, whoa, whoa. You go ahead and defend your title, champ. Sorry, but AJ's staying with me. Let's oh, go. Hold on, I'm gonna go to, no, no, no. to Tokyo. Bring us back some chopsticks. Hey, bring me back one of those keys from Japan. An Olympic hero returns to the city where he won the gold. A living legend returns to the place that made him an icon. 
Kurt Angle battle Sting for the World Heavyweight Championship in TNA's biggest pay-per-view event of the year. You've got to be kidding me! Bound for Glory, presented by Midway, live Sunday, October 14th on Pay-Per-View. The Ultimate X, the most innovative match in wrestling today. TNA's high-risk spectacle. Where an X is formed high above the ring, the object is to be the first to reach the center of the X and claim whatever prize hang high above. Focus on what you want and go after it. Many have dared to compete, but few have succeeded. The Ultimate X is the ultimate test. The Ultimate X is terrifying. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, what a move by Saban. You've got to be kidding me. Compete in an Ultimate X, you need to be able to detach yourself away from thoughts of pain or terror. Mentally, you just gotta not be all there. Go on! Go on! Right through the table! What does an athlete do to prepare for the Ultimate X? It's pure preparation all around. Mental, physical, spiritual. You have to be completely prepared to be in this ring. Oh my God! So no matter how hard you think you train, once you step into the ring in the Ultimate X, it may not be what you expected. Oh my God! It takes a man who's ready for all obstacles. There's so many different variables that you've got to be ready for anything. Not just anybody can step in there and get into the Ultimate X. Oh, no! oh my God! Now wait a minute, he's got a chair! Oh, man! Ultimate X will take years off your wrestling career. Look out! Ultimate X. Ultimate X. Ultimate X. Ultimate X. Ultimate X. October 14th at Bound for Glory in Atlanta, Georgia. It's the return of the high-risk spectacle Ultimate X when LAX takes on Triple X. Now, let's rejoin the satellite feed from California with Kurt Angle and Sting's son's football game. Hi. Um, you wouldn't happen to know the number 25 Garrett Borden, would you? Oh, yeah, I do. He's awesome. He's a really good player. Really? Yeah, one of the yeah. best players. Well, his father slapped my wife. <laughs> Sting, the game's almost over. And I'm going to be the first one to congratulate your son. I'm going to give him that little congratulatory slap when he asks, like they usually do after big games. But don't worry. I'm going to do it in private. I don't want to embarrass him. I mean, you know how kids his age are. Plus, who likes being slapped? I know my wife Karen didn't like being slapped with everything you had. But I'll tell you what, Sting, you will be there to witness everything. I'll make sure of that. During tonight's two-hour impact, we have watched Kurt Angle mess with Sting's mind all the way from California. It's almost like Kurt Angle is a stalker the way he's watching Sting's son at the football game. What's amazing to me, Mike, is I believe he's actually bought into the bill of goods that Karen Angles has sold him. He actually believes that Sting slapped his wife. At Bound for Glory, Christian Cage versus Samoa Joe. There must be a winner. Check out this video package. Pride. It lies within us all. Its form defining our own being. It feeds the families of some, the egos of others. People seem to forget real quick that I've never been pinned and I've never submitted since I've been in TNA. And I am the real world heavyweight champion. A feeling that one has accomplished the impossible or denying that impossible exists. You want to be number one contender? You want to be the champ? It'll be over my dead body. It motivates some to do good, yet fuels the evil motives of others. Every man has his breaking point, and right now, I'm at it! Of finding victory in defeat, yet driving one not to fail or defending one's own honor. It is an eye for an eye! A tooth for a tooth, and blood for blood! Even when there is no honor in one's defense. They throw this thing out, they disqualified Samoa Joe. Joe has completely scattered. From the pride of one's origin to the pride of being an original. When you see your marquee attraction being hung, you do not wait. Just do something about it. On the biggest stage of our time. Matt Morgan is going to be the special enforcer and bound for glory when you wrestle the Samoan submission machine. It is their pride that will define who they are and what they will become. Seven footer.
Rex is going to be involved in Bound for Glory. Christopher Daniels to challenge for the X Division title. And the S, Triple X involved in Ultimate X. Their tag team partners, first from Gainesville, Georgia, the phenomenal P. Throw in 
the brawling aspects of LAX, the submission moves of Samoa Joe, the size of the you-know-what, the caboose of Junior Fatu. You look at that, all you can think of the steak face. And you, AJ Styles <laughs> has been on the receiving end of that. And trust me, it's not where he wants to be. He takes the shortcut and pokes the eyes of Fatu. Anything better than AJ Styles and Christian Cage being on the receiving end of that big 400-pound steak face? Oh, look at that. Uh, but he just doesn't have the strength to bring it down. Oh, yeah. You can see AJ have a quick memory. Did you see the light bulb all of a sudden go on there? He could get away The Junior Fox who could just drop down right on top of him. When you don't take him over, you better get the hell out of the way. No, I'm talking about Dark Side of the Moon. Oh, what a shot by Junior Fox who as he sends LAX flying outside. And then, Here comes Jose. about fired up. Wait, wait a minute. Oh, well, AJ Styles was, had the referee distracted as he went for the pin. Now, Homicide takes the instant classic, drives him into the turnbuckle, goes for the corner mount, but he turned his back on Styles. Referee Andrew Thomas stops Styles, but then from outside, did you see that? Elix Skipper gets involved. We've just received word we need to take a commercial break. When we return to this two-hour impact, more of this great eight-man tag. got involved and came in to help out. It has been all Team Triple X and Christian Cage and AJ Styles, and that's what they needed to get the advantage. And look how they keep it on the side over here on their side of the ring. Now they have to get up and make a tag, and it's playing right into their plan. And wow, nice kick right there by the fallen angel, Christopher Daniel. Daniels, who looks to add the X Division Championship in Bound for Glory when he faces Black Mitchie's Mo Jay Lethal, takes down Homicide. Just lift him up and slam him down with the leg drop. But now they are just absolutely doing a number on Homicide. I mean, they're mad wrestling him. They're hitting him with kicks, legs, keeping him in the corner. Oh, big tackling him. I mean, they're just doing this to perfection, Mike. Totally different complexion of this match, Don, before and then after the commercial break. I think without question. Christian cover, instant classic, two count only. Homicide sits for the shoulder. Oh, just pure survival right there by Homicide. He realizes he's got to find a way to get across that ring. He's got to get Samoa Joe in this matchup right now. He is fresh. He's got to be ready to get fired up. And you know he's looking at Christian Cage just wanting to take a piece out of him right now before Bound for Glory. But Homicide is just nowhere for him to go. And Christian just realizes how close he is, but he's just teasing him with it. Check the look on the face of Samoa Joe, as well as Junior Fatu, but especially Joe, I think. He wants to get in this match with Christian Cage so bad he can taste it, and you know what? I think we all want to see just a little bit of a preview here of what that match is going to be like at Bound for Glory. Homicide making his way to the corner. That's his LAX partner, Hernandez, also extending his hand in. Well, good move by Christian right there. As Christian Cage able to pull him back and get the tag on his partner, AJ Styles. And Homicide so close, he got to within a foot, but he just couldn't reach far enough. And what a drop kick by the phenomenal AJ Styles. Well, that baby was right on the money. One, cover, two. two. Decided in this great eight man tag team main event. What a two hour broadcast this has been. And get used to it, Don, each and every week right here on Thursday Night Impact. Thursday Night Impact is two hours every single week. And right now, speaking of two, you can see Christian's coalition working together. Oh, what a Turn back to Christian. Inverted atomic drop for Daniels, and the fallen angel has fallen. 
He's trying to homicide. Homicide. Now able to counter it. And he sends AJ Styles all the way out. All the way out into the rail. Now, Styles and homicide battle on the floor. Check out Hernandez. Is it going to go? He went for the border toss, but Sinji fights out of it. And then uses his agility. Pulls the ropes down. And Hernandez had nowhere to go but over the top. Samoa Joe takes the warrior and tosses Sinji to the floor. The showdown. Instant classic breaks the eyes of Joe. A prettier attempt is blocked. Here it is. Rear naked Joe. He's got the Takeda clutch and he's dead center. Middle of the ring. He's in the tap. He's pulling over. He's holding so hard that Christopher Daniels comes in and breaks it up. And then Christopher Daniels putting the fingers in the eyes. Pulling on the jaw. And now kicking Samoa Joe. Trying to kick him into the corner. One boot after another until Homicide makes his way in. But Daniels ready for him. Quick reversal. Homicide shoots Daniels. that sends Homicide out of the ring. Wow! You see that toss that time? <laughs> Cracker Jack style by Hernandez. What a great Wait a minute. What a great go. Here he goes. Oh, my God. Oh, Hernandez over the top. Wow. On top of AJ. AJ got cream. And it's Joe and Christian Cage in the ring. Here it comes. Muscle Buster. Muscle Buster in. Get him. Sid Chito. solo tackles. Not that I was keeping tabs. He's an incredible athlete. Just like his old man. Or at least how his old man used to be 10 years ago. Now you have to realize why I'm doing this. You have to understand. The reason I'm doing this is because it bound for glory. I want to face that old sting. I want to face that sting with the fire and the passion. The one that never quit. The one that when he said something, he meant it. And regrettably, the only way I'm going to bring that old sting back is by doing what I have to do right now. Plus, I'm still pretty pissed off you slapped my wife. There he is. Hey, Garrett. Garrett, I just want to talk to you, man. Hey, where are you going? Garrett, go! Hey, man, I just want to go, talk to you. Go, go! Oh. Hey, hey, hey. This has nothing to do with me. Oh, that's everything to do with you. Your father slapped my wife. Oh! My father didn't touch your wife, and you know it! Get back here. Get over here. Get over here. Let go of me. Sting. Go. I'll leave the rest up to your imagination. Go. 